and it's PLB with MLB News back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to the Red Sox cheating scandal punishment. All I've said at the start is they got off really easy. I mean, a second round pick and Alex Court being suspended for a season. Now let's go ahead and start talking about that. Alex Cora got suspended a season. Now that's okay, but it's only for his actions with the Astros. Now this JT Hawkins guy, or whatever his name is, Dawkins, I don't know. Whatever his name is, he is ridiculous. I mean, he's not, if he, if this is true and he was not even told to steal sides like this, I mean, who puts in the extra effort to steal sides from other teams? I mean, at least they're not begging on trash cans like the Houston Astros, but Let's, we're going to go ahead and like read a few articles, see what they have to say about this punishment. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty long video, so there we go. We're going to look up something and see what team J.T. Watkins was with. Who is J.T. Watkins? Apparently he's a cheater from what we're hearing right now. Okay. Okay, it's not going to let me read that. Great. Um... This article reads from NPR.org, uh, URL to the articles that I read will be below. It says, the Boston Red Sox illegal sign stealing during their 2018 championship season has cost them their second round draft pick this year. This is a start of why I think the Red Sox got off easy. A second round pick? I mean, is that the best you could do? A second round pick. Like, not even a first-round pick. That's absurd to me. An MLB report concludes that J.T. Watkins, the team's video replay re reporter, was pretty much the person that came up with this. And, I mean, there was someone in there, too. Like, how did they not recognize that? I mean, he must, he must, and he's like, I'm not doing anything wrong. Um... He obviously did something wrong, or he wouldn't be suspended for the 2020 and 2021 season and the playoffs for 2021. I mean, who knows if there's even going to be a 2020 season happening. So A.J. Hinch and Alex Cora could get off really easy for this because there might not even be a season. Okay, Watkins, who has denied the cheating allegations, has been suspended without pay through the 2020 season and postseason. He has also been banned from operating the team's video replay through 2021. Baseball is entirely shut down during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, this is ridiculous that I mean, he should be banned from baseball doing crap like this. Like, if he's doing crap like this, he should be banned. And Alex Cora should be banned from the MLB. Even though he might have not had um, anything to do with this, he definitely had something to do with the whole Astros cheating scandal. And I think he was... The main reason why the Astros cheating scandal happened. And Carlos Beltran.
I saw an article, I don't know if I will be able to find it again, but it said, will Carlos Beltran or Alex Cora ever manage again? We're going to type in, will Carlos Beltran, Alex Cora, AJ Hinch ever manage again? I saw this on um, CBS Sports, I think. Here we go, CBS Sports. MLB insiders are explaining why one could return in 2021. If this is anybody, this should be A.J. Hinch. And I don't see any three of these getting a, another contract by a team. I mean, if they do, that's going to be ridiculous. So let's read this article. First, they're starting off with A.J. Hinch. If someone from the trio is going to manage in the majors again, the smart money is on it being Hinch. One source answered by saying Hinch for sure. While another said they could envision him returning to the dugout as soon as next season, or just months after he reinst it after he's reinstated, and then we've got an ad. That's great. Um, if someone from the trio is going to manage in the majors again, the smart money is on Hinch. I already read that. The key elements working in Hinch's favor, it includes his impressive track record. He won 59% of his games over four years in Houston, as well as a pennant and a World Series. Okay, he won a pennant, not a World Series. He cheated for a World Series. That's what happened. Or attempted to make, anyway. Following his whatever. I can't say that. Regardless of if you think he was more involved than he claims to have been, he has at least taken some form of accountability for his role and has apologized for not doing more to stop what was going on. I mean, he broke two TVs. That's quite a bit. One source said, I think people will be more willing to forgive a lapse in leadership as opposed to having a direct hand in the execution of the scandal like Alex Cora, I think, did. Again, that's assuming you take him at the word. Hinch, for those who may have forgotten, was said to have destroyed two monitors in an attempt to stop the side-stealing operation. He also sidestepped a question during a post-scandal sit-down with MLB Network's Tom Ferducci, um, but they may not matter in the end. The, contrib- the contribution he showed after the report came out seemed sincere. Another source said, and he's a good manager, I think. I also think he's a good manager. I think he's a really good manager, even though he might have cheated. And I think he broke the two monitors. I think A.J. Hinch deserves another job in the majors in 2021. Now Alex Cora. Cora issued an apology of his own on Wednesday. And at least publicly, he still has the support of his former bosses. He does need to go through a rehabilitation process. What he did was wrong. He acknowledged it to us and apologized to us for that. But I'm a big believer in second chances, and we wish him well. Even with Cora having Kennedy's blessing in a two-year stretch that saw him win 59% of his games plus that world title. I don't even know why they include this. Like, they cheated the whole year. Our insiders were mixed on his future managerial prospects. Those who believed he would get another look cautioned that it could take some time. He's good managing at he's good at managing the clubhouse and he may be good end game manager, one source said. But being associated with two cheating scandals, I don't know how an owner sells that. In the court of league circles, Cora may end up being charged with more crimes than he committed. For example, an owner might find it hard to how Cora could be identified in a, as a ringleader in the Houston scandal. 
and then a year later as simply a bystander in Boston. I think he was the main part. Him and our next manager, Carlos Beltran, I think they were the ones that really started this in Houston. Now, Carlos Beltran. Then there's Beltran, who was fired a little more than two months ago after his appointment as the Mets manager without so much as first overseeing a stretching session. Beltran initially denied that he was aware of the Astros cheating. Okay. He... Okay, so he's playing dumb, obviously, because he definitely had a clue it was going, and I'm pretty sure he was using it, too. Let's look at his 2017 stats in a new tab. 2017 Carlos Beltran stats. We're going to go right here. And if it'll overload, we'll get to And give me a second to find the stats. Um, okay, we're not going to find the stats. I would assume they're inflated, though. He was later revealed to have been one of the biggest proponents behind the scenes, leaving the Mets with little choice but to move on. They later hired Luis Rojas, son of longtime big league skipper Filippo Allo. I don't think that he did anything more or extra compared to the others, a source said of Beltron. But he never got a chance to establish the cred the other two did. So will Beltron ever get a chance to manage in the majors? The way he seemed destined to later on during his playing career. Our insiders were pessimistic about his odds. I like him and think he should, a source said, but I'm doubtful. For those wondering, Beltron and the others all fared better in our poll than former Astros GM Jeff Luna. No one who speak spoke on CBS Sports believed Luna would work in baseball again. Okay, this is not really going to be ranking, but we're gonna. I'm gonna say who I think is most likely to um, get a job in the major leagues again. I think AJ Hinch is going to be number one. I think Carlos Beltran is going to be number two and Alex Cora number three. Two years straight that Alex Cora was involved in a cheating scandal. That doesn't look too good on his part. Just saying. Even though I don't see Carlos Beltran or Alex Cora getting a job very soon in the major leagues, I think maybe a minor league team would be like, yeah, let's give him a chance. Why not? And A.J. hints the same thing. I mean, maybe a minor league team he starts off with and gets a promotion. Again, just to show the major league teams, yeah, I can manage good without banging on trash cans to help my team. Okay, looks like that's going to be the end of the video. Um, this is my reaction. I read, um, will Alex Cora, AJ Hinch, or Carlos Beltran manage again? Link to that um, will be below in the description. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. New videos will be soon.